All right, guys, what is going on today? Today, we've got just something fun to talk about. I'm going to try to make this really short because this is all just kind of about fun. Um, my birthday was in March, uh, and this was one of the things I got from my uh, girlfriend. So this is the, I think it's called on Etsy, a Viking pizza cutting axe. Is it even showing the whole screen? Um, <laughs> it's... You know, I've got a bit of a pizza collection thing going on. Um, I also got, I think I got this for Christmas time or as a housewarming. This is a another pizza cutting axe. I got a mini pizza peel that goes with my, I actually have a custom pizza peel that I had made. And I've done a video on that pizza peel. That thing is amazing. My buddy Rick and his wife, Susie, I worked with her for many years. They made me a beautiful pizza peel for a housewarming gift. I was so touched. I'll put a link to that up here. Um, I also got <laughs> a set of pizza playing cards with, you know, kind of shapes for the, the face cards and then my son got me some pizza coasters. Awesome. So I, I got kind of a pizza decor thing going. So when my girlfriend got me this and had it customized, so this is a one of one now. Um, we got some skulls. We've got some other stuff here. Somebody did comment when I posted on Facebook that that's not Viking stuff. That's this is that. I don't know. I don't know. I just go by what the Etsy guy said. Okay. That's all I can go by. So a couple of specs because that's what we do here on this channel, right? Overall length from the tip of the blade to the butt of the handle is just about nine and three quarters. Blade length is eight inches. Behind the edge, it's pretty thick at 0 0.090, and it is sort of sharp here and really dull up here. I may send this down to Alex and see if he can sharpen this up. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't sharpen, okay? Um, our blade steel is metal. Don't know. And the handle is wood. That's about all I got, guys. It weighs in at one pound, 5.6 ounces. It's super cool. They're like 50 bucks, something like that. There's some options when I kind of searched Etsy. I don't have a specific link for where this one came from, but if you want a pizza cutting axe, just go to Etsy and type in pizza axe and it will come up with several different variations of things like this um, with different um, engravings. Some have no engravings, different blade shapes, different handle. Like uh, there's actually a bunch of people making them and selling them on Etsy. And probably Google can give you some ideas as well. Um, you know, it's just fun. I was super touched. I think it's super cool. I don't love the sheath necessarily. There is kind of a belt loop thing. I don't know. It, it does fit in here, but you got to kind of get it in there just right for all of these snaps to go together and for it to not kind of poke out of the edges. So safety is a little bit of a concern. Um, but yeah, there you go. Uh, have I used it on a pizza? No, I have not yet. Am I going to? I don't know. I think it was more designed to display in my kitchen cabinets. I have a couple of cabinets with the glass doors, like wood frame with the glass doors, that I can put those things up in there. So let me give you a couple of just quick, quick quick size comparison. So we're not going to belabor this. This is more just of a fun video that I thought you may or may not be interested in. And how about next to the RJ Martin Q36SS? 
one of my all-time favorite knives in the collection. And if I had to have only one knife out of all the knives I own, put a gun to my head, tell me I can only keep one, this is the one because it is the most useful overall. I did a whole video on that. You can go check that out on my channel as well if you are so inclined. And if not, that's okay. But as always, have a great day. And uh, thanks for checking this one out. I know it's a little goofy, but, you know, I just wanted to share and thank my lovely girlfriend, Lindsay, for this amazing gift. Thank you all.